We've talked quite a lot here about the need for a new kind of leadership mm -hmm. to face the uh, complex challenges that, that, that we are currently living through in the world. So we need a different kind of leadership and we need to uh, create that, that new leadership together. Um, that can only be achieved if we are able to recognize, understand and lift the barriers to everybody's full participation. Um, we're talking here about women's full participation, but as you understand and lift the barriers to participation, you must also think about the barriers that exist for other uh, minority groups or, or different um, aspects of, of people who are excluded from, from power. Um, some of those barriers we've talked about here, we've talked about the barrier of um, unpaid care work and the lack of time often that, that women have. Um, we've talked about the historic power imbalance, so the absence of, or, of access to some spaces um, that is only just beginning to shift. We've talked also about the violence, um, the active violence and misogyny that women face as they seek to raise their, their voices. We need female role models, and we also need male role models um, and sponsors who are willing to stick their necks out and take action uh, to really challenge the current uh, the gender balance in decision making. And we've heard some really great examples of that here. And we've also talked a bit about, quite a lot about power and what it means and a, an idea of transforming and reimagining power, not as a pyramid of oppression, but actually as something that everybody can participate in to create a better world and a better landscape. Um, we, in the women's movement, we talk about, we don't talk about power over, we talk about power within, power to, with, together with others and power to shift things. Mm -hmm. It's a much more collective solidarity idea of, of power. Um, Gloria Steinem, the American feminist uh, icon that we had the opportunity to have uh, in Brussels last year, says uh, it's not about who gets a smaller or bigger piece of the pie. We are trying to bake an entirely new and much tastier cake here. We're not just trying to <laughs> parcel up an old stale piece of cake. It's not a zero-sum game. I think that's what you said, Diwa. For all of this, men need to recognize and challenge the privilege that they have uh, been lucky enough to benefit from. And that brings with it discomfort. Mr. Timmermans talked about the discomfort that brings. And we need to have empathy around the discomfort that comes with challenging and recognizing your own privilege. Um, be that gender privilege, race privilege, ability privilege, or age privilege. Um, we need collaboration. We've heard it here between uh, governments, uh, businesses, parliamentarians, activists. Um, we need really to all to come together, between men and women, and those who don't identify as either, uh, to come together to really um, transform power um, and build new decision-making structures that really are fit for purpose for the 21st century. Uh, we, We've talked a lot about quotas as a measure to at least temporarily shift uh, the dial, um, make sure that women are in every single space and, and participating in bringing and valuing the issues that women bring forward, which are sometimes different, uh, but need to be valued and not treated as second-class issues. Um, we've talked also here about this not being a simple, um, quick solution but it's actually a, a permanent kind of way of being. Building diverse um, and equal and fairer decision-making bodies is constant work. It constantly needs to be challenged and measured and, and driven forward. How are we really um, going beyond the numbers to inclusive feminist uh, leadership and balance? Um, we also need to learn from each other, and I think there are really great experiences here from different, very different parts of the world that we can really take inspiration from and, and learn from. Um, and finally, we need to ensure that women's, uh, women's movement and the sisterhood and solidarity that comes with it is, is, is strengthened, is invested in, and is connected globally, because there we can also find strength in our different, in our different struggles and battles.